Alderman Vicero? Present. Alderman Cohn? Present. Alderman Carter? Alderman Coder? Here. Alderwoman Spencer? Present. Alderwoman Green? Chairman Kennedy? Here. We have six present. We have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, we have two items on the agenda today, uh, Board Bill 192 and Resolution 209. We'll first take up uh, Board Bill 192. Uh, we've heard this bill before, and we had public testimony on it. So today we're here for uh, any amendments and, and possibly passage of the bill. Um, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So we did go through this, and I appreciate the chairman setting up the tour of the jails. I was, you know, actually heard all the horror stories and was surprised how much better it was than what the horror stories were. But I still believe that this does nothing more than offer accountability. Uh, I know that in talking to the chairman, uh, I, I, th I believe you have an amendment, which uh, that's what I'd really like to open this up to is any amendments to the bill. And I, I believe it's a good amendment uh, that the chairman talked to me about, which basically just says that they need to notify the Board of Aldermen. It still stays publicly, still stays on the internet, but uh, so I'll, I'll kind of just leave it up to whoever wants to offer amendments okay. and, um, mm -hmm. and go from there, and I would hope that at the end of this, we can pass this out to the full board. Okay. Well, the amendment number one would simply, in, in the original bill, it says they would post the report on the website and so it just asks, it also directs them to send a copy over to the Board of Aldermen. Which I think is a great amendment. That's all. And, and mm -hmm. if you need me to make that amendment, I would make the amendment that we do add that, mm -hmm. um, that we would add that to the language. And uh, Mr. Clerk, if you can. I've already passed it. Oh, you already passed it. If you would pass it out. That amendment is already passed. We're already passed. It's, it's he, out there. He passed, they passed it. Oh, good. Okay, I'm cool. We're fast over here. I'm, I'm, I'm slow. So that would be great if we add that to the language, mm -hmm. which simply says it comes over to us right. or whoever is, is in public safety mm -hmm. in the future. And I think it's a good amendment, and I think it gives us the opportunity to at least keep an eye on what's going on. and. Uh, it, there's a lot of accountability, and we're asking a lot of things, but I think it's fair. Mm -hmm. um, any questions about the amendment? If, if not, we can entertain a motion. I would make that motion that we uh, add the amendment one to the uh, bill. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt amendment to board, amendment number one to board bill 192. Is there any discussion about the amendment? Seeing them, Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Vicero? Aye. Alderman Cohn? Aye. Alderman Coder? Aye. Alderman Spencer? Aye. Chairman Kennedy? Aye. We have six ayes and zero noes. Okay, by your vote, we've adopted amendment number one to Board Bill 192. Okay, well, if anyone has any questions before I close, I'd be happy to do my best, but I think we've all been there and we've all asked questions on the tour. I, I'm supportive of the bill, but I, it is always nice to have like the director of public safety or the director of corrections here to just ask from their perspective, you know, what this is going to entail and all of that. And I don't see any of them here. <laughs> have they, yeah. I see the people from, you know, the mayor's office and the Department of Public Safety, but I don't see the commissioner or the director here. Have, are they supportive of this? I'm assuming they are if they're not here. You know, otherwise, usually people I think if they weren't they supportive, would. they'd probably be here, but I haven't received anything negative. We did have a meeting in the mayor's office, uh, and we that's when we went on the tour, and but other the, than that, I really haven't heard much. The corrections commissioner is aware of the legislation. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Absolutely. And in fact, there's stuff that we're working on together already uh, as far as a minister to go over there. And uh, in fact, he, Mr. Glass, has been really gracious. Uh, he's opened up to uh, even some of the people that are not on the board that had questions. And again, you know, 
I appreciate that the chairman let us do this because we did bring people that were not on the board, but we wanted to be as open to anybody that was wanting to come along so it didn't look like we were trying to do something under the table. Yeah, no, and, and th this, this bill offers no penalties. It just asks accountability. Yeah, and like I said, I'm supportive of the bill, but in general, I mean, even with like the airport, if we're passing lease agreements, the director of the airport or the CEO of our CFO of the airport is there to answer well, questions. And I would, I, I mean, would, it would be nice just, I haven't seen Commissioner Glass in probably a year or so anyway, so it would be nice well, we, to. So we were all on the tour we were, yeah. and, and certainly everyone was welcome to come. And I guess if I was the commissioner, I probably wouldn't want to do it, but at the same time, I will offer that they, this is no, anything extra than they aren't already doing. In fact, what a surprise to all of us was, were at the last meeting, is they had all this already in a book and they give it to the public safety director's office every month. So I- We just don't get it. I wasn't, I wasn't available to take I, the tour. I understand, to I understand your mom. Uh, however, uh, like I said, I'm supportive of the bill, and I understand that it doesn't. It's just a reporting requirement. I'm, right. I'm well, not well, trying to. No, and, and the shock in it, and I and I understand, and I have a conversation with the commissioner about something that is requiring the commissioner to do work. So, well, I mean, that's it, that's it, all my question was. And if you no, support the bill, then that's great. No, Shane, I and I appreciate. I understand that your situation why you couldn't make it. I wasn't trying to be, you know, mean or condescending. But what was a surprise to all of us is that they already do this, and this every month, this is given to the public safety director. But again, I think it was a show of disrespect to the public safety committee that it, it wasn't offered to us. And this this bill may not have ever come up if every month we were getting this stuff anyway. Well, so we did have a, you know, we did have a short discussion of it while we were at the jail. Right. Um, with glass there and then I've had several conversations with the director of public safety and he's pretty much fine with it. he just basically said they're providing a lot of it anyway there are a few requirements in here that they did not have in their report and he said he's fine with doing it okay. thank you I, and again he didn't he didn't come to me but um, so with, I'm with glad that, he really didn't see the need to come before us unless we called him and I did not call him okay. to All come right. before us thank you that answers okay. my question and if anybody wants to be a co-sponsor, we'd love to have I your input. I would like on that. to add my name as a co-sponsor. Yep. Mr. Clerk, can you so, make a note of that? So, uh, so with that, we could yeah. you know the discussion. We can entertain a motion on uh, Board Bill 192 as amended. So, There's a question. So moved. So moved. So moved. Yeah. Move, you with something there. You, you're hopping up and down. That's related to this bill? I don't have any documents on it. Oh, that's what this is? How many times do you think they have to zero it to make it look like this? Yeah, right. We'll give them a moment to, to do that's that. That's fine. I, I didn't think we'll we were doing public discussion. We'll withdraw the motion. Hold it for Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll just come forward. Sure. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carl Filler from the mayor's office. Um, thanks all for uh, entertaining, uh, allowing me to speak. So in front of you, there are two documents um, from the uh, director, uh, commissioner of corrections. Uh, one of them is the documents that align with the 43 items in this bill. Um, I think, and as uh, uh, the alderman mentioned, there was a small discussion at the jail about the things that can be provided. Um, here are 34 items that can be provided. Some of the items that we pulled out of here we do not think were particularly useful. For example, recreation days, where every day is a recreation day. I didn't know if that was really beneficial to report that out um, because it seemed like if you're asking the number of recreation days, it would just be the number of days in a year. Um, and again, we're happy to do that. And so we aligned the bill with the actual ability and the items that the corrections division um, identified. And so they're working now with Regis to pull those items. Uh, so you'll see here there are 34 items that Regis is currently programming their systems to be able to report. Um, there's also the other document, which is a monthly report, which is now on the city's website, um, the corrections division's website. So I think the point to transparency was well. Uh, well heard and, and the commissioner and the director of public safety and the rest of the city is on board with that so now there are these monthly reports on the website we have started with october of 2016 the january one of this year will be up 
the website, because um, I can see Alderman Spencer does not uh, work right now. We are uh, having some technical difficulties, so it's inaccessible. If you go to it, it should be updated hopefully in the next hour. But um, I did print out hard copies, so at least you could see what will be up there. And then moving forward, once Regis, and I'm hopeful this will be done by February, March at the latest, they'll be able to include um, these items in this monthly report. Again, the IT system requires Regis to do some programming on their end. So um, I think our only concern and the only concern of the uh, Commissioner of, of Corrections is that the 43 items listed in this bill do not correspond with, the 40, with all the items that they currently collect and or can report and or think are useful, and I'm happy to talk about those. Um, but here are the 34 items that we are working now to report. So if it's possible, I think, to align those reporting requirements with these would be helpful. Um, but that's just uh, the Commissioner of Corrections and our, our take on it. Happy to answer any questions, but did want to bring that to your attention. Um, uh, I'm not clear then. You're saying that these are items that, you are, that the office already does reporting on or can easily do reporting on? So they currently collect those, but their data systems now allow them to report them easily. So they're working with Regis, which is the regional organization that does uh, criminal justice data, um, mm -hmm. that collects and collates and reports all our data for us. They're working with them to create this a report for this so that they can pump this out every month for you all, if that makes sense. I understand that. How is that relating to the items in the bill? So the items in the bill, the Commissioner Glass took those items, ran through them, pulled all the items he can report, and so I think it's on page, starting on page uh, four of the bill under report section three, three reporting of statistics. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so he pulled those items out and what the data, the data he can actually collect and report. Those are the items that's in this uh, two-page document I put in front of you. And what's the problem with the other items in the bill in terms of reporting So uh, that, is, that is not in this 34? Yeah, so for example, I'll, I'll give you a couple examples here. Um, one is, I think I mentioned recreation um, mm -hmm. days, um, the number of shower days. So for example, every day, um, they, these are all set standard. Uh, inmates get that every day. They get um, recreation every day. So again, we can report that in that manner, but I just, the commissioner thought that wouldn't be helpful because it's going to be the same number every month for every year. Now, if, you, if that's helpful, I mean, we can put that number in there. I just, it just seemed to him not particularly useful, but. Uh, so is, are you having some recommendation in terms of the, this? The, this the, these would be the recommended items that we'd be happy to report every month um, for transparency purposes. Obviously, if there's things that are not in here, we're happy to include them. Just this is what the commissioner is working on now to report out to you every month. Regardless of whether or not this this bill were to pass, this item will be these items will be reported to you every month. And when was this supplied to you? Uh, yesterday, I, I tried to reach out to um, you yesterday. We must just not have passed. Uh, so I still I still have a few. So my my thing is the showers mm -hmm. are not every day because they said that on the, on the, you know it's every other day and even if it's Sorry, even if it's, you know, every day for a recreation, you know, I don't see what difference it's going to make if they report it. The other problem is, I'm, you know, no yeah. one reached out to me on making any yeah, that, changes. Yeah, that's a part of my concern, too. Could, could you come back up? You know, we, it's been several weeks since we've had the last hearing on this, and there was really plenty of time to have gotten this to us before today, and so that concerns me. Um, my, my other question would be, because there are 34 items here, there are, I mean, there are 43 items here. Nine items missing. Not necessarily. It doesn't mean that it really actually means that it's nine items. There could be 20 items different from these items, and we don't really have the opportunity to go through it uh, and make any real intelligent decision on this portion of it <clears throat> because we're just getting it today. Uh, and that's not a way that we have operated in this committee. And I, we, I'm certain I would have appreciated having this much earlier so that we could have made that comparison and made any changes in it. So I am, to be honest with you, I'm not that inclined to make some changes right now other than, you know, than the change that we've already made because there was enough time for this to have gotten here for us to have been uh, to, to incorporate it if necessary. So uh, we don't necessarily want to hold up on the action of it today. That's just my immediate thinking as the chair. I would have appreciated it earlier. 
And I apologize for that. That's, mm -hmm. that's entirely my fault. Um, so the documents before you, and I'm happy to go back, um, obviously not interfere in anything you're doing, but go back and pull the items and try to walk out the differences and get that to you as soon as possible, potentially tomorrow um, by email. But I understand, of course, you may have your own timeline. I, I think, uh, did you, and, uh, the alderman here has it. Like to, you want to so comment? I would, I would like to just say, I want to pass this out the way it is. Okay. And it'll get second read then uh, Friday. I won't ask to suspend the rules. I'll let it take its natural course of two more meetings. Mm -hmm. And if they provide the information, then it could be changed on the floor if there's something that's really, but to hold this up when we got minimal meetings left to not have a hearing, not even pass this out of committee, that kills it of even going anywhere forward next fr this Friday. And with everything else that we're gonna have to discuss as it is, I see the next couple board meetings going like pack lunch and supper if stuff starts coming out of committee. I, I honestly would ask that we pass this out of committee. I will not, I'll have it second read Friday. I will not ask to suspend to get it perfected. But, you know, then it wouldn't take its natural course to be perfected at the next meeting and third read and final pass. That will give them the opportunity to come back to everyone, and, 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 and especially to me, uh, as a sponsor, you know, I'd like the opportunity to see what they're trying to change. It could, it, it, exactly. their changes could affect the whole bill. Alderman Cohen, you had. Yeah, Carl, if you could come back. <clears throat> so, you know, here's, here's my, my frustration as well, um, yeah, and part of the reason why I asked if the commissioner was here. So, I, I fully support this bill. I think it's it's good, I think it's necessary, and I think it's um, it helps the city with accountability in terms of how we're treating our, you know, our inmates at our, the various institutions that we have. Um, you know, when I hear you say that the Department of Corrections doesn't want to report about shower time or recreational time because it's every day. Or a I set think, schedule, yeah. Or it's a set schedule, I think that the intent of this bill is to ensure that whatever policies are in place within the department, that on an individual level, we are actually ensuring that each individual within that facility, it's not just we have 1,800 prisoners, you know, or inmates, and, you know, we have 365 days in the year, and so on average, we have this amount of, you know, beds that are being used and this amount of, you know, days in a year that are, you know, people are taking showers, but making sure that on an individual level that each one of them are actually able to take a shower and each one of them has the time to have, you know, recreational opportunity while they're there. So, you know, I think that that, you know, while it might not be something that is reported per se in the department right now because it's part of policy, this is requiring it to be reported because it's important to ensure that very basic, you know, human elements of, you know, being a person are being met by the city and our responsibility to those inmates. So, you know, I mean, that's part of the reason why I, I, it would be nice to have the commissioner here to be able to have those conversations to get a better gauge from him in terms of how, you know, we can report that in a meaningful manner instead of you know the Department of Corrections automatically throwing out a number saying we have an average bed that's filled in 365 days in the year and throw out a number. You know, I want it to be a more meaningful number so that we actually know, you know, I mean, because as the alderman from the 23rd Ward pointed out, they're not getting showers every day. And that was, I misspoke, I apologize. You well, know, I guess my point was there's a regular schedule in which they have the opportunity every other day. But I think that we need to make sure that those rules, those policies are being enforced. And part of that is, you know, I mean, we should, as custodians of someone's livelihood, know what they're doing, you know, hour per hour, really, in our care. And so, if not minute to minute. So, you know, what are the resources that are going to be needed to, you know, make sure that we're able to report those numbers? Yeah, I, those are all things that I would want to know from the commissioner. And, you know, either way, I'm supportive of the bill and I think it needs to be done. Um, but it, it would be nice to, you know, it would have been nice to have these weeks ago. But, uh, you know, 
so you know, I'm of the same mindset as you know my colleagues here that you know I'm I'm going to vote in favor of the bill and pass it out. Um, but it would be nice to have, even though it'll be out of committee, it would be nice to have the commissioner down here to answer some of these questions as well. Yeah, thank you. And I would add, and thank you, Shane. I would add, you know, the intent. What started on this was two people in our custody actually committed suicide or hung themselves and you know what are we doing what I'm hoping to get out of this is what are we doing for the people uh, that you know have mental illness what you know how, how can we separate them and then even in the case of say somebody who's transgender what are we doing are we just throwing them into general population or you know do you, this is all this is seeking out is to find out what's going on because when I was running for sheriff I mean I heard all these horror stories and when I went there I was surprised at actually how nice the place was and the, the plans that they have but this will start to tell us if if, if people that uh, you know have a mental illness or transgender or, or identify differently are the ones that are committing suicide then how do we fix these problems we really maybe we need more psychiatry in there the fourth floor of the um, um, the, the justice center across the street is empty maybe it'd be a nice place to set up a, a little bit different setup uh, I can tell you that those pods that almost everybody's in a little pod and I'm claustrophobic I can't hardly stand elevators if they put me in there I'd probably commit suicide just because I couldn't stand to being close. It, it, all this is just helping us that maybe next year that we actually do some legislation, which I know the chairman's working on, that fixes the problems. This is just looking to identify the problems. This doesn't fix anything. And then the fix actually comes in, and again, I know the chairman's been working on it for quite a while. Uh, the fixes hopefully will come out of what we learn. You know, again, if, if if I were to believe everything I heard when I was out, the guards are putting prisoners against prisoners to beat each other up and betting on the fights. That if someone's loud, they're locking them in cells. And, you know, I don't know that any of it's true, but if, if under this, you know, one of the things they're reporting is how many people are in, uh, you know, like, like where they're locked up 23 hours a day and they're only out for an hour, we'll start to learn that. And then are these really, People that just have mental illnesses, what, well, you know, um, you know. Okay. So anyway, that, that's just, anyway, I apologize, but that's my thoughts. We're ready. We can entertain a motion. I, I would like to make that motion that we pass this board bill out with a due pass recommendation Second. 192. It's been moved and seconded that we pass board bill 192 as amended out with a due pass recommendation. Uh, any discussion on the motion? Do we have a previous roll? We can just call the previous role. Been a request for previous role. Is there any opposition to previous role? Seeing no opposition by your vote, we have just adopted Board Bill 192 as amended with a due pass recommendation. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. The next item on the agenda is Resolution 209, which awards the Prop S dollars. Um, before you, you have uh, Exhibit A, which is uh, cited in, in Resolution 209 that indicates the various uh, agencies that the subcommittee is recommending for funding for 2017 and then you have this uh, breakout of the various programs uh, the committee met diligently uh, over the break uh, we did receive some of the information we were looking for in terms of United Way a little bit later than hoped but they did do a very good job on our behalf of reviewing uh, the material so we can entertain any questions related to um, the recommendations from the subcommittee. Okay. Then we can entertain a motion to adopt Resolution 209. I move that we adopt Resolution we, 209. We may want to amend it first. Uh, oh, you need because you have it as an, an amendment with the exhibit. Right. With the exhibit. I uh, move that we add amendment number one to Resolution 209. Second. 
been moved and seconded that roll. it's been moved and seconded that we adopt amendment number one to resolution 209. Uh, there's been a request for previous roll. Is there any opposition to previous roll? Seeing none, by your vote, we've adopted amendment number one to resolution 209. I move that we pass resolution 209 as amended out of committee with a due pass recommendation. Second. Been moved and seconded that we adopt resolution 209 as amended. Previous roll. There's been a request for previous roll. Is there any opposition to previous roll? Seeing no opposition to previous roll, we've adopted resolution 209 as amended. That completes our agenda for today. Uh, we, do, we do have a scheduled public safety committee meeting uh, on Thursday where we'll hear several bills, including uh, the bills of all women from the 28th. Okay. With that, uh, our meeting is adjourned.